in one corner of the Bay Area, a bit of momentum for affordable housing. Yeah, Santa Clara County is completing one project this week, and KPIX 5's Kit Doe says it's set its sights on several more prospective parcels. So we're not just talking about a couple of parcels of land here and there. One county supervisor wants to take a hard look at 80 acres of public land to build hundreds of new homes for the needy. For years, this prime plot of land next to the Valley Health Center in downtown San Jose has sat vacant. Same goes for this six acres of an empty field right next to the Valley Health Center in Gilroy. And then there's the land next to St. Louis Regional Hospital and at the DePaul Health Center in Morgan Hill. You get the idea. The county has a lot of land and County Supervisor Cindy Chavez is trying to put a dent in the housing crisis. Do you think you'll solve homelessness in your lifetime? Yes. Back in 2016, voters overwhelmingly approved Measure A to tax themselves and raise a billion dollars for affordable housing. Back then, Chavez was one of the most vocal supporters of Measure A, and years later, she says the clock is ticking. We promised the public that we would do our best to spend as best we could the Measure A funds within 10 years because it demonstrates that we recognize this as a crisis. The very first affordable housing units have finally been built with Measure A money three years later. The Miranda Apartments officially opened yesterday in Cupertino and will house 19 people, many of whom are seniors and homeless. Deborah was one of them. I am so deeply, deeply happy to have a roof over my head. <laughs> Today's board vote authorizes county staff to begin examining all that vacant land near the hospitals and health clinics to see what options are on the table. It is unsustainable for government to support people living on the street. So we're moving in the right direction. We just need, need to do more and do it faster. Kit Doe, KPIX 5.